Hello, today I'm going to show you how to cut down a paddleboard paddle. Uh, I've just bought myself a new uh, X paddle for wave and all round use. Got a nice small blade on it, so it gives you a pretty high paddle rate. Um, but when they come new, they are pretty big. Can hardly reach the top. Um, the test that I like to do is to uh, take your shoes off, so bare feet on the floor, and um, should be able to put your the, the handle into the palm of your hand and have it straight upright like that. So that's a perfect uh, height for me. This, these red paddles happen to come uh, at a real nice height for me. So for wave and all round use, um, that's, that's my little guide tip. Um, I do what I've done already, put a bit of tape around the paddle here, grab the handle, hold it up um, where it touches on the shaft, just draw a little line and I'm going to cut there. So that will be just about right. Also the sellotape, uh, when you cut it, this stops it from splintering off and helps to keep the cut nice and clean. Okay, so just use your thumb to guide. Let's cut it. That's a scary bit done. As you cut it, you can just do a little test. Obviously, you put the handle in and just see how it feels. For me, that's pretty nice. So I'm going to glue it in. Okay, for this next bit, you need some epoxy. Uh, this is a two-part epoxy, which is the best stuff, really. So when it mixes, it goes solid after, well, overnight, something like that. Some sellotape and some sandpaper. First thing you need to do is just sand down the handle. This helps it to get a bit of a better grip. So uh, just roughen it up, it's all good. Should also really rough on the inside of the shaft as well. Just a little bit. Nothing major really. So before you put the handle on, if you've got any heat shrink uh, with the paddle, make sure that's already on. Uh, so once I've applied the epoxy, uh, I put the handle in uh, and it's stuck, you can then heat shrink that on afterwards. Uh, and the sellotape is to sellotape the handle in place, because apparently it can actually start to come out once the epoxy is curing. Okay, mix it up. Apply it to the handle. You want to do it quite thinly, really, because this is quite a snug fit into the shaft. Okay, so make sure you put the handle in the right way round. Just that way around. There's a fair bit of excess coming off there. Whoops. Yeah, just took the excess off with something. Okay, so the next important thing is to make sure that it's level. So what we're going to do is just go over to a flat floor, take some sellotape. So the handle should be dead level with the shaft, and then we can sellotape it in place. Apparently this is rapid cure, and it goes off in 10 minutes, so this should be quite quick. Okay, a little bit more tape. 
So I'm just taking it on so it doesn't try and escape. It should be pretty flat now. That's pretty good. That's it. Leave it for 10 minutes. It turned out to be a 10 minute rapid cure, uh, which is all good. So uh, it's actually gone hard already. Um, still got the little bit of heat shrink here, which obviously needs putting in place and really heating up. Um, you could just use electrical tape. Uh, and then um, it's all good. Time to go paddleboarding. <laughs>